Hello there, beautiful people. We are back off out after two weeks. Unfortunately, the weather and sickness in the house have just been rife, and I'm so, so sorry that I didn't manage to get a video out last week. It's just been terrible. <laughs> but we are back out. The grass has grown exponentially, and um, it might be a little bit of a tough day today, but we're back off out in the uh, Elizabeth the First field where we've had all those lovely bits pop up. I did pop out one time before and it was rubbish. I had just iron because it just rained and like the settings are all, yeah. I've got it all sorted, I think. So we, hello there beautiful people. We got another target just down here. Quite high. Anyway, sort of between 26 and 34. Up to 39 there. I'm assuming we're going to be new. Rather new rubbish, I'm guessing. I'm going to give the um, landowner a little call in a minute and see if he does know in that adjacent field, or if not, he knows who it is because I've got to get in there. <laughs> He seems to, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't think it will be his because it seems to be running at a different sort of time to the other fields. But there's no saying, he doesn't know who it is. Oh my god. Is that it? Is that the sound? I did this on all metal mode as well and there was literally no negatives. And yet, still, we've got a nice old hook of some description. Pass, old nail bent, or just hook, on to the next. Right, you beautiful lot, we've got a belting little target here. I've just found out that in a couple of days this is going to be cut back again, so that's good for next week, for the weekend. So we got this here. Straight 22, 23. Not hugely deep. Killer signal though. I'm assuming we're going to be relatively new rubbish, but this field is a surprise with the depth of some of its age, so just give it a go. Unfortunately, the field next door is out of our realms at the moment, uh, but he does know the guy, and we're going to have a talk. I can see it. We are, I think, a little copper plate or something. Um, horse brass? No, I, I'm not really sure. Possibly a furniture fitting or something. Bottom of an old wink, inkwell? Winkwell? Yeah, I'm not sure. Cool little thing. Be nice to clean up. Again, it's one of those that looks almost just like a... Um, uh, Roman brooch, but the spherical ones, I can't think what they're called offhand now. But yeah, no. It's pretty cool though. Right, on to the next. Right guys, so we're about 12 foot from that last signal, it's just behind the camera here. And we've got another one just here. Sort of 19 to 25, mainly in the sort of 20s, 23. There. Again, we're not massively deep, but it could well be part of the same thing. It could well be a copper coin, which is what I'd imagine it would be. With the target ID like that, especially with the fact that it was jumpy, ever so slightly, my guess would be on a coin, but it's spherical regardless, I reckon. Have we missed it? Oh, that's stony. We've got a solid 25 ish area here. Oh, we missed it ever so squeezily. Dip in there slightly 
and we should have it. That's it. What are we? It might be an old general service button. It's a bit squished. We're a bit squished and full of mud, but it's giving me those vibes. Uh, it's got that sort of like wrap around. You can see the shank just there. Those like loose floating shanks that you always have on those sort of general servicey type buttons. I'll give it a good clean up and we'll see if we can get anything off of it. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be general service there. Lovely bubbly. Right guys, we've got a bit of a wonky signal here. There's no negatives to it on the all metal mode, but it is a bit iffy diffy. Mainly sort of 21 to 23, but we do dip down into the 12, 15, 11. Sounds a little bit coinish, but if it is, it's quite a far gone coin, I just said. Um, but yeah, this is just a bit too wonky to be um, a good quality piece of copper, I understand. May well even go as far as saying a brand new, well not a brand new, but a newish pound coin, gold nugget. Yeah, it's still a bit wonky. We don't sound like I am, which is good. I see. And we are a pesky tubus muus. Just a moo tube there. Right, on to the next one. Right guys, got another target just down here. All over the shop. It doesn't say that it's iron, but part of me thinks it's possibly iron. Um, yeah, I did all metal mode. Lowest we got was two. But sometimes you just can't trust it. Iron nail as well, an iron bolt possibly, um, as suspected. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, got another target down here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be rubbish. Well, there's no negatives of it. It's sort of all over the screen, really. That's not what we wanted. I said it was going to be rubbish, didn't I? We just say, uh, call the U, uh, what do they call them, horseshoe nail or something. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, got another target down here. It's a bit wonky again, but we are getting over where we found the Elizabeth the first coin now. Yeah, we're sort of here, there, and everywhere. Just in the middle there. It sounds like we're on the top clod, so we're not massively deep. But hopefully we're just not iron, I'd be happy with that right now. Does it sound like iron? Oh. We are a thing! A, a thing indeed. Um, yeah, I can't tell you what we were off of. It's going to be a relatively new tractor part that snapped, unfortunately. Uh, got a little hole through it. little flat base there, which has obviously been welded or something. Yeah, it is what it is. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, we've got a cracking little signal here. I'm pretty sure it's not iron, although there was a negative on the screen. So it's sort of almost solid, 22 to 28. I 
tell you what, it's so handy having this. I just wish it was slightly bigger so it didn't fall like that. Uh, Gently use this just to slice that open there. Okay. I see ya. And this is one thing that's frustrating about this field and the other field. It is another darn. Oh, I can even get a brand off of this one. Uh, is it dripping in? Moo tube, right on to the next. Right, guys, we've got a target just down here. We're right by sort of a metal fence in this bush here, but we've got a bit of a target. Yeah. Sort of anywhere between 11 and 22. Trying to go over this area quite nicely with a bit of a fine tooth change because it just started raining as well. And there's snow. If there's one, there's likely to be more. And although I'm not seeking silver or anything, I just want some nice history. And the grass is just so long. Problem is, it's like this in every field at the minute. So, and like you said, a couple next time I video, this should have been cut and we can get in here again. But we shall see. Oh, it's sounding a little bit better anyway. He's not now. <laughs> Just a nail. We've got a lovely little um oh a sort of salamander or something here. Come on guys. Come on. Look. I never know what they're called newts or something, but he's under oh bye bye mate! <laughs> and a nail. <laughs> right, on to the next. Right, you beautiful lot, we've got a belting little target down here. No minuses whatsoever. So it's sort of 19 to 26. We've never really touched this bit of the field, so I'm really quite hopeful. Um, we've just moved over from the um, where the Elizabeth I was, because it's just a bit long. I mean, this is long also, but... It was as I was walking away. It was nice to see that little newt fella though. Or salamander -y thing, I never know <laughs> what to call them. Don't see enough of them to be quite honest, so it was nice to see. I put them safely away. Right, what's this we got here? It doesn't sound quite as nice now, but that's not saying anything because it could be on its side, it could be anything. Where are we? First step. Good. We have a, a tip tip face, do we? I need to find out now. Oh, I think it's a derma gel of some description. Um, it's a, a tube of like cream. <laughs> right on to the next. Right guys, we've got a screamy little signal down here. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Um, there are a couple of negatives on the screen, but not in certain areas, so I have no idea. Anyway, from 14 to sort of 27, up to 30. Right in the center there. Should make it nice and easy. Oh, it's the old 
stony bit again. So come back up to the front. Although we seem to have stopped raining, so I was half heading out of the field. Let's give it another once over because we've still got a good hour. Just need some luck. That's what we need. Because it's been the last two days out with absolute rubbish. Where are you? You in the hole or? This iron is doing my nothing. We're really due for an upgrade, I think. This 800 seems like it's slowly dying on me. It's it's not doing what I want it to. It's, it's done me really well, don't get me wrong. Just got a little flat piece of iron there. Right, on to the next. Right guys, got a screaming little signal here. I, I, when I say that I don't, yeah, I feel like an upgrade is in order. It's not because I'm getting fed up with the 800. I love the 800. I just know that when the screen flooded out, it's made things a lot, like the battery doesn't last as long. We're still on the first software, so we haven't got the four kilohertz because um, it just won't update. I've tried all of the different wires and it's just not working. So I just feel like it's coming to the end of its existence. We've got Belt and Nils Saga here. So 11, 15, 28. So well, there's no negatives in there at all. Go down to zero, that's it. <coughs> Just down in there. Oh. Yeah, it's one of those. Oh, oh. oh I'm doing it super deep. It doesn't feel that deep there. Mm. Hopefully that wasn't it. Does that sound irony or stony? Right. Oh, we're very deep. Oh, it looks like a little coin. We got a coin, we got a coin. It looks hammeredy. No. Ooh, wait a minute. I think we're another jetton of some description. A bit damp, because obviously it's on the surface. I'm just going to turn you around ever so slightly. See if we can get a, an image. I think it's going to be another Nuremberg. You can almost see that little ridge um, that goes around the outside. If it dries out anymore, I'll get you a better picture. Oh, there you go. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, Nuremberg Jetton. Uh, Rosenorb type. Um, Pretty good nick actually. Some of these you find, oh sugar, I've dropped it now. <laughs> are in awful condition. There he is. Although I've just dried it, now I've got it wet again. Ah, you get the picture. Right, I'll put a picture up. On to the next one. Right guys, looks like we've got another target just down here. So, 19 to 22. Again, it doesn't sound massively deep. Ooh, is that one? No. Not massively. Ooh, it's stony. That might be why. <laughs> oh, that's better. Ooh. Cut this grass for him. Um, Gone up a bit, 
actually. So 22 to 28. A bit different. Is that a coin? Look. Just don't even know. Looks like it might even say police. The picture of an horse. But the type of badge, it looks tiny. I'm guessing a toy badge. Um sorry guys. We'll show you. Uh, Special Police KCC in Victor. Um, it's got some writing on the back. I can tell you what it says. A little bit shaky after this one. <laughs> it's the word police. You're like, ah! but I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, there he goes. As he dries off, you can see him quite well. Got a little crown at the top. Is this off like an old, um, uh, what do they call it? A hat badge, a cap badge or something? I don't know. Like the um, pin on the back, it looks like it's just like a sort of newish one. My guess would be some sort of toy. Um, although it's sort of, um, it's pretty cool. It's KCC. We're um, fairly close to Kingsbridge. Is it KCG? KOG? KOC? Not sure now actually. Is it filled in with mud? KOC. Kingsbridge. I know, I'm not sure. Yeah, pass. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I can't. It looks like it's a dr drink or paint. Paint medallion? I, I really don't know. I'll give it a good clean up when I get back and we'll let you know. Right, on to the next one. Finally, some luck. Right, guys, we've got ourselves a boat with a little target down here. Sort of a bit over the shop. That's quite coinish. No negatives in the number. Oh, I see it. Poking his head out of the clod, though. Just poking his head out. We've got a coin. We've got a coin. Let's clean this one up. Hmm. Um, Victoria. We are Victoria. Oh, it's got quite good condition. I mean, it doesn't look it from here, but you know when it dries out, you'll see her. Um, um, actually, maybe not. <laughs> Victoria, we got a date on there to a half penny because it's quite a smoolies. Oh, belting date. Victorians, the Victoria coins always come up with a good date. So it's bang on 80, 1870. It's not bad, so that 150, four years, give or take. Right, math is not my strong point in the middle of a field tired. <laughs> right, cracking job. It's a little Victorian. Hopefully that clean off. Right, on to the next.
Right, you beautiful lot, that is it, I'm afraid. We're pushing dinner time now and yeah, it's gonna start getting dark. The rain has held off, thankfully, because we were getting a bit drizzly. But yeah, we've had a bit of luck. Not an awful lot, no real history. We've had obviously the Victorian, a weird police badgy thing. Uh, obviously the Jetson's pretty old, is that 17? Hundreds? My brain's not working. <laughs> I'm sure it is, sort of 1740s, it may well be older than that, because I know obviously most of the Jetons, the sort of French ones, were around sort of medieval times, so I may well be completely wrong, and I'm just getting confused with the old Tom back buttons. <laughs> Easy, easily gets confused there. Yeah, no, thank you ever so much for joining. I will chuck at the end of it the day I had the other week that was just atrocious, just to make this have some longevity for you. But I guarantee you there wasn't a lot found. So if you're not interested in seeing lots of rusty iron, please just finish it here, all right? Thank you ever so much. Love to you all. Please check out Bigfoot Finding. Sorry. Please check out LP Metal Detecting using code Bigfoot Finding. Save yourself 10% off most items on there. Um, I can also get you, if you're interested in the Noctus score, I can get you a good discount code on that at the moment as well. So, yeah, let me know and I will see if it's something that's automatic through my link or whether I need to get you the code for it. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers now.